in our second week, second week of online learning. So I hope that uh, assignment wasn't too difficult. I hope you managed to put it in the in the, the homework folder. It really is important that you don't just put it on the homework folder as an icon. Just like when I give you homework, you just click on an icon. I don't want that. That's not good because I need to be able to see it as a photograph. And the reason is I can open it if you put it as an icon. But if, if you leave it open as a photo, then I can just draw right down what you get for each question. And you'll be able to see the breakdown of your marks. Okay. If you just give me a file as an icon, I'll click on it, I'll mark it on my notes, and I'll give you a mark, but then you won't be able to see where you got things wrong. So it's better you do it this way. Okay, we're back in trick. Now, on Friday, or last lesson, last week anyway, uh, our last lesson, I just introduced you with trick. And there's quite a lot of definition, and I know it was like, oh, what does that mean? So today, we're not learning anything new. We're just going to solve examples with that. I'll teach you the whole thing, but now with examples, okay? So remember, the whole idea of trick is working with a right angle triangle. So imagine this A, B, C, uh, opposites the apexes. We write down the letters, small letters usually to, uh, to, put, to kind of talk about lengths itself. So B, C, uh, the one next to A, this is A, this is B, opposite B, and C is opposite C. Okay? And I've written here the definition for you that it took us a while to get last lesson. So sine theta, sine this angle, is the opposite sine divided by hypotenuse. It's A over C. Okay? Cosine theta is the adjacent sine to the hypotenuse divided by the hypotenuse, B over C. And tan theta is simply opposite side A divided by the adjacent side B. That's it. Now guys, I know it's a lot to take in and I'm not expecting you to remember it by now, but uh, later on this year, the next month or so, I'm going to have to insist that you remember at least these three things. Trust me guys, it will make your life much easier. Okay, so let's, uh, the questions, the exercise I'm looking at today is exercise one on page 66. Okay, I'm just going to go through a few, you do the rest, and then we'll move on. Okay, so in question, let's just, let's just skip to B. I'm going to go to B. Okay, and they say state the following in terms of G, K, and M. So you've got a triangle there, maybe I'll draw it. Okay, I'll draw a triangle. Okay, that will save us a little bit of time. Look at that magic. It just appeared. How quick was I? Eh? I froze you. Okay, so I've got this triangle and notice again that opposite the apexes we have the same letter but small. Okay, so G, G, M, M, K, K. Now I'm asked to write in terms of for these letters G, K, and M, what is sine K? So this is my angle K. And okay? what is sine K? Well, it's going to be the opposite side divided by hypotenuse. So it's going to be K over M. Okay? okay, now cos k, what is cos k? It's the adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So that will be g over m. Okay, next thing, cos g. Okay, so now I'm looking at this angle, g. Cos g is going to be the adjacent angle, the angle next to the, the hypotenuse. It's always next to opposite to what? To the hypotenuse. Okay? Or next to or what? Sorry, to the angle. So next to the angle is K. Opposite will be G, but next to G is going to be K divided by hypotenuse, K over M. Okay? And then tan G, tan G, so that's going to be the opposite side, opposite to what? Opposite to G, divided by the uh, adjacent, divided by K. So it's going to be G over K. Okay, guys? Right, let's do one more example. Okay, and voila, again, another magic. You've got a new question. So I'm looking now at question, not C, it's question E. Question E in the same page, we're in page 66. Okay, uh, now here I've got a triangle, 17, 15. I don't know what that is. It's a right angle triangle, and they want me to find out sine N. Now, what is sine N? Sine N is going to be the side opposite to N. This is N. This is the angle N. Okay? So 
So it's going to be um, BE opposite divided by hypotenuse, which is the 17. Okay, that's awesome, but I don't know what BE is. How do I calculate BE? Any idea? I don't know what BE is. I've got BN and B, BN. Of course, you're right. There is Pythagoras, isn't it? So how do I know BE? Okay, I'll write BE. I'll call it X. Call it X. And then I'll say X squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. Meaning X squared is 17 squared minus 15 squared. Okay? And then I'll say, okay, X equals square root 17 squared minus 15 squared. Okay, use a calculator. Square root of 17 squared minus 15 squared. Boom, I've got 8. Okay, so that's 8. Now I can feed that into here. That's going to be 8 divided by 17. Okay, and, and there's no, I mean, I can't simplify anymore. They ask me to write decimal places. Cool, if not, just leave it there. Okay, so that's trick. It's not too difficult, is it? Once we have numbers, examples, makes sense. Just practice this exercise one. I'll tell you which one to do, and then we're going to move on. Cheerio.